Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to tell you 10 important things that you should definitely know and keep in mind before you visit Italy because it will minimize or reduce the cultural shock, it will prevent you from all these tourist camps and most importantly I will give you some practical and useful information that will save you both time, money and lots of headaches. And trust me, I learned this the hard way because if you don't know, I lived four years in Italy and the beginning was a bit of a struggle. And also my boyfriend Ben is Italian, so we have some super important information to share with you. And guys, if you enjoyed this video or you want to see more videos about traveling, culture or life in London, don't forget to subscribe, it really means the world to me. Number one, Italian food is a lot more than just pasta and pizza. And that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have your pasta, your pizza or your gelato when you go to Italy, you totally should do that. You should definitely research more on the region where you'll be going. And just to give you an idea, usually if you go closer to the sea, then the typical dishes will have seafood whereas if you go more inside the country then they will tend to eat more meat and kind of hearty dishes welcome to Naples miss what may I get you I want this rice I saw it on Instagram risotto alla milanese but we're in the south miss we don't sell that we have sa fritta Here are some ideas for you. If you're in Milan, you should definitely have some risotto alla milanese. Or if you're in Bologna, ragù alla bolognese. If you're in Rome, you should have some cacio e pepe. And I guess you already know that Naples is the home place of pizza, so you shouldn't miss that. Or if you're in Sicily, have some cannoli. Consider taking the train instead of necessarily renting a car. In general, public transport is very affordable in Italy. And especially if you're traveling from one touristy place into another from Rome to Milan or to Venice or to Florence uh, those cities are connected with fast trains which is called Freccia Rossa and I will also have a link inserted down below so you can check the prices if you're going more towards the south uh, or for example you want to visit the Amalfi Coast or you're in the region of Puglia or Sicily, then in those places the railway system is not as great. So in this case, I would really suggest you renting a car instead. Ticket please. Ticket please, miss. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. There it is. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, miss. You haven't validated your ticket. Validate my ticket? What do you mean? Yes. It's written where I'm going and I just bought it. Uh, yeah, but like once if I need to validate that the machine right in front of the train, I'm sorry, I cannot accept this. Yes, there are machines where you insert the ticket, it prints the date and the time, and that's how you validate Oh it. no! But I'm no one told me that! And guys, if you want to see more videos from Italy, more videos about Italian culture, don't forget to subscribe. It really, really means the world to me and I'm super grateful for every single one of you. Don't be surprised if shops and restaurants close in the afternoon. Usually their working time would go from 9 until 1 and then they would reopen in the afternoon around like 3 and work until 7. Restaurants will also be closed in the afternoon. Usually they would open for lunch and after that they will close in the afternoon and reopen again for dinner. If you're in a bigger city, you might find some things open, but it will be mostly the tourist trap kind of places. Please keep this in mind and be very, very careful. Don't expect just to be able to wave at a taxi and it will stop. No, I mean, I'm sorry, but this thing doesn't really work in Italy. You have to go to a specific taxi stand. Sometimes you might also have to wait in a queue to get a taxi and after that 
you will be able to get into it. You can ask at the reception of your hotel or any local and they will tell you which is the closest taxi stand. In bigger cities like Milan there, there is also Uber but don't really think that it's any cheaper from the taxi because Uber tends to be a little bit of a luxury in Italy. If you want to go for something cheaper then in this case you have to get the public transport or just walk. Learn a couple of Italian words and I promise you it will take you a long way. Hello miss, what may I get you? Uh, can I have maybe some fusilli with uh, pesto? Fusilli with pesto on its way. Oh thank you, that's very big play. Hello miss, what may I get you? Ciao! Ciao! Vorrei mm -hmm. fusilli mm -hmm. with um, pesto. Uh, pesto, on its way. Favore. Grazie. There we go. Oh wow! Grazie, grazie mille! Ah, si! Sì. Number six always have cash with you. Some small shops or cafes might not accept payment by card for less than 5 euros and you don't want to run to the closest ATM machine, always have some cash with you. Oh, so many things to do today! I just want to have a solid breakfast, relax and then I'm ready to go. Morning miss, what may I get you? Morning! really want an Italian latte. Latte? Latte. Latte, all right. And um, and maybe some eggs with um, with bread on toast and. I'm sorry, we don't serve eggs here. No. No. But it's breakfast. Uh, not in Italy. We can get you an Italian breakfast. Okay, let's have an Italian breakfast. And latte. Yes, and latte. Very strange. I thought Italians have a lot of coffee. Un cornetto. A croissant. And latte. No, no, no. I mean latte. Latte? Coffee with milk. Ah, cappuccino. Yes. This, but you asked for latte. This is latte. But it's empty. Ah. Not even, not even chocolate. Ask with a cornetto, al cioccolato e cappuccino. And I will pay by card, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't accept cards on like orders, you know, like below 5 euros. You have the machine, just yeah. take my money. I insist, we only accept cash. There's an ATM over there, miss. Number seven. You want to dress well, but don't overdo it. Of course, you're going to a pretty stylish country, let's be honest here, but at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to wear heels all, all the time. Just be elegant and stylish. Please don't tell anyone that I told you this, but there are quite a lot of jokes about German tourists wearing sandals and socks and Italians literally hate that. What restaurants should you avoid? First of all, if there is a guy already outside trying to invite you and get you into sitting into the restaurant, definitely don't go there. Or if you see a plate in front of the restaurant where you can see what can you get, don't go there. If you see photos in the menu, literally stand up and go. Also, if you see a restaurant where it's written pasta and pizza, don't go there as well because usually pizza is offered at uh, pizzerias which specifically have only pizza and pretty much nothing else. Pasta and pizza together written in like big capital letters, that's definitely a tourist trap. I watched this video from Basi G and she mentioned that like restaurants are closed in the afternoon. But she, she, she was so wrong, this one is open, let's check it out. Oh, this bus is 30 euros, so expensive, I got scammed. Number nine, do you know what is a coperto? Yeah, you have to pay for it. Can I get the bill please? Bruschette, um, pizza, acqua, coperto, coperto. I don't think I ordered a coperto. I feel like they're trying to scam us just because we're they can see that we are tourists. I didn't order a coperto. A coperto is the fact that like, you're having bread, you're sitting here, it's coperto. But I thought that the bread is free. It's with the coperto. Once you pay this coperto, then Italians don't really necessarily expect a tip. And if you're usually a person that tips, well, see, I just saved you a couple of euros. And guys, this is kind of my biggest tip ever, is to 
relax and kind of go with the flow. From the very beginning, when you book your tickets to go to Italy, you, you should just know that things will be slow, most probably something will go wrong at some point, but just try not to get angry and not ruin your holiday. Yes, the train might be late, you might miss some of the tourist attractions because something took longer than what it was expected, you arrive after a long flight and your Airbnb host is not there. Actually, this happened to me twice, so really, don't panic and try to enjoy the moment, have a coffee, have a gelato and just think that everything will be alright and small things shouldn't get into you. <laughs> and guys, see you in my next one. Ciao! Love you all! And don't forget to subscribe, we're so close to 1k, I think I will cry. <laughs>